Okay, so today we are going to change out the rear rollers on a Toro 4500D rough mower. This is a common problem. These rollers, they, uh, they see battle. When these rough machines are out there, they're hitting sticks, they're hitting rocks, they're out there in the rough. And uh, these rollers will, typically the bearings will go bad on them quite often. And it's really easy to take the rollers off. We're gonna do two separate tutorials. One is on uh, putting some new fresh bearings in them. But this one, I just wanna show you how to get the rollers off in case you already have a set that's rebuilt and you just wanna swap them out. It's really easy. So we'll take a walk over here. This is the 4500D and your rollers. We'll take a look at this one. You're gonna have these roller mounts here on the end. Okay, they're held in by two bolts. These are 14 millimeters. And you're also gonna have another 14 millimeter bolt right here, which holds on this bracket here. So what you wanna do, this is your roller here. And as you can see, I'll show you the one that we're actually replacing here. On the back, when your decks start scalping, usually it's because, look at that. That bearing is shot in there. So we want to get that roller out. I already have two that are rebuilt already. And we're just going to swap them out and get this machine back and running again. So all you got to do is you want to get, again, 14 millimeter. Take this bolt out, this bolt out. You're going to take this bolt out. And that should loosen up this whole side enough for you to slide this mount out and then you're just going to pull up on this roller to pull it out of your bottom one now if this one is super tight down here you may have to just crack the bottom bolt loose on there to relieve some tension but with these three bolts up here you loosen them up we should be able to slide this out and pull our roller up and then we'll just put the new roller back in and uh it should be good to go These side two right here, they're a little bit shorter than your bottom one that comes from under here. So make sure you don't mix these up. Although there is only three of them, it'd be hard to mix up. But the longer bolt does go on the bottom. Two smaller ones go in your top holes up here. All right, so we got this one. You can see it's pretty loose. Sometimes you will be able to pull this out just this side and slide that out um but it's just not the case on this one so on these back ones it's a little bit difficult because i don't know if you can see here let me back up it's really low to the ground so luckily for me i'm a pretty small guy so i can probably lay on the ground under here but we got to get into this other side and it's the same let me try to hold my camera in there it's the same bolts over there um it's just a matter of getting under there to them to get those bolts out it's really simple i got the impact gun and i got two extensions so to get to the bolt on the other side raise the decks up push down with your knee on this deck Okay, so that it's actually low, and then you can get the ratchet right in there. If you have an air gun, probably be a little easier. Um, but be careful with the air gun. Sometimes too much force can break these bolts off. We can get in there to that bolt. Come on, get on there. All right. The next one. I may do is just take some of these uh, extensions off. I think we're losing some torque with all the extensions. Let me remove a couple and give it another shot. Alright, let's try it again. 
There we go. That was it. Just take a couple extensions off, reach your arm under there with the gun, and just the socket without an extension. So now you can see this is gonna slide. Oh, there it goes, right down on the ground. That's what we wanted. So let's pull that out of there. This side is still up. Um, that side I dropped down, so we're just gonna pull this out. There we go. All right, so uh, this is really just seats inside that hole there. Just slide it off. And uh, I call these knuckles, but it's a roller mount. Um, we're gonna take this whole roller up to the, to the bench. We're gonna clean these up. I don't like putting these old bolts back in. These things have seen better days. So we're gonna put some brand new bolts in there, clean this up, and then throw it back on. Uh, this bracket here looks like it has seen some better days. Although I can probably reuse that one. This one over here, it was cracked in half. The other half is on the ground out there. This one's gonna need a new bracket, a roller bracket. So we'll put a new one of those on. Now this reel here, you can see the bearings. And when one of these rollers start going, just on one deck, it's gonna be cutting low because when this hits the ground, that shaft pushes up. So now your deck's going even lower to the ground. So you have to have all your bearings tight or you're not gonna get the, it's not gonna be cutting right, cutting level. So, but we're gonna do a separate video on rebuilding these again today. We're just gonna swap these rollers out with ones that already have rebuilt. This side, you can see it's tight on there. It's kind of gripped right there on the shaft. So we still didn't loosen this bolt on that one. So we're gonna have to crack this one loose and uh, see if we can relieve some of that pressure to pull this off. All right, so you can see this bracket here should just pull off um, just like that. All right, and you can see that little U groove there. So basically when you, after we clean this up and put it back together, this actually, this little U groove here slides over that. And it really only goes on one way and then fits over there. So when you tighten this, it kind of puts pressure on this whole thing to clamp down on this shaft here. But that's how you remove the rollers on a Toro 4500D. I will see you in the next tutorial.